Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Chris checking in with another video. How are you? I hope you are doing well and that you are off to an amazing, amazing start to your day. For those who don't know me, my name is Chris. I come from Michigan. I currently live on the East Coast. I am pursuing my second master's here in the United States. I lived abroad for seven years and on this channel I talk about everything. China, Germany, the United States, Mexico, languages. I speak six languages. I also talk about identity. I talk about culture. I review culture and that is exactly what I'm going to be doing in this video. So if you find any of these topics interesting, if they pique your interest, please consider hitting the subscribe button, activating the notification button so that you are notified when I upload videos, which is rather frequently, and consider joining the community. American people, generally speaking, are super friendly, easy to get along with. The inner part of my American like engineering is to look at things on the bright side. And I think a society in which people look at things on the bright side, usually, is a good thing. Americans are critical, we're very critical, but I think we're optimistically critical. When I was living in Europe, there was this notion of accepted uh, pessimism. In America, there's always something on the bright side, right? That has its pros and cons, but you know, I think it just makes my day a lot more sweeter. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Americans are, you know, superficial in our projected happiness? Do you think living in a society where people typically look at things on the bright side, energetic, gregarious happiness is a good place to live in, or you prefer to people that leave you alone, a little bit more distant, etc.? Limitless opportunities. The world is your oyster in this country. It, it could be the silliest idea. There's someone in this country that would be willing to invest in you. America still is the land of opportunity. If you have a brand, if you have a passion, you can make it. You really can make it. You could become very, 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 very successful in this country. There are no caps. I really didn't get that feeling when I was in like Germany or when I was in China, rather. I felt like you know, there was a cap. As a foreigner, more specifically, there was a cap. I really did love living in these different countries, but I really felt like I was stagnated. I was very much stagnated professionally, and right now I'm in a point of my life where I feel like I have a lot that I can grow in and accomplish, and so that's why I came to this market. What are you guys' opinion? What do you guys think of the United States? Do you think it's the land of opportunity? How do promotions and success look in your country in terms of opportunities. If I was a foreigner coming to your country, how is it that I would go about acquiring opportunities? If you occupy a lower stratum of like the social network, you know, it's hard, but there's optimism in that. People are like, I'm gonna make it. Like, I'm going to make it. There's no other way. You know, I'm going to make my dreams come true. I'm going to work hard. I really feel it. You know, people are really dedicated. People are very, very hardworking. Um, and people are, are goal chasers and dream setters. Like, but the only caveat is that I don't hear many people talking about vacation. Again, this touches upon my point that I made earlier that I really feel like in a place where everybody is just thinking about things on the bright side, knowing that you know deep down in their hearts that regardless of what life throws at you, things will be okay. Things will work out. There are a lot of problems that are going on in this country. We have gun violence, we have you know, racism, you know, sexism, there's homophobia, et cetera, the divisiveness of the country. But there still is this sentiment that is pervasive throughout this country that we are all Americans. You know, we all have a role to play. Things will work out. This is a large, large family. No matter how divisive it is, this is a family. It's a growing family where everybody is welcome. Everybody is welcome. I really, really do appreciate that. This is a land of immigrants, you know, so uh, anyone can be an American, uh, whereas I feel in different countries it's not always the case. This is a place where we have very, very critical discourses on things that are fundamentally wrong in this country. Yes, we have high levels of gun violence. Yes, racism is still a thing. Homophobia is still a thing. Sexism is still a thing. But there are critical discourses that are ongoing that get to the upper echelon even of American society where people are forced to sit down and have conversations. The civil rights movement, for example, that was aired out for everyone. The killing of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. These are situations that were aired out for everyone to see uh, and openly criticize. When I was living in Europe, I would often hear people say, like, why are people complaining? Why are we having a Black Lives Matter, uh, 
you know, uh, demonstration. This is not an issue. We, Germany, don't need the Black Lives Matter initiative here. You know, we're not a racist country. You know, in America, you know, more bad things can happen to people than they could here. In various parts of Europe, for example, in England, in Italy, in other countries, you have people going to football stadiums, throwing bananas at people, calling people monkeys, right? Calling people of color monkeys, throwing bananas at them. In the United States, you would be eviscerated for that, literally eviscerated for that. I feel like America willing to engage in these critical discourses and, and you know, air out his dirty laundry, if you will, has led to a progressiveness in countering racism, actually. And many people would say, oh, like, this is the only issue that happens in America. And my pushback always is just because the United States has developed to a point where we can have critical discourses on race, and you haven't, it doesn't mean that your country is any less racist. Okay, folks, another thing that I actually really like about America is American small talk. At first, I had to really get adjusted to it when I came back, like this reverse culture shock of Americans just talking to me, you know, just constantly, and I'm like, I don't really want to talk to you, like, I just want to go, like, I just came to get one thing. But at the same time, I really feel like small talk is necessary in a country like the United States that is not, uh, it's like not a homogeneous society. In different countries, so for example, Northern Europe or other countries, I feel like small talk is less necessary because there's more commonality. There's a lot of commonality based on similar cultural uh, aspects. Whereas in the United States, small talk is sometimes necessary to fill out the commonalities. You know, you test the ground when you meet people. And the way we do that is through small talk. And that's not that doesn't go to say that everybody likes small talk. I mean, I live on the East Coast and I think people do less small talk than they do here. It's exhausting. Sometimes you really don't want to have small talk. You know, you're just going into your apartment and the door person wants to have a long conversation with you. And it's like, no, I just want to go home. I had a long day at work. Just let me go up the stairs, please. So sometimes it does get annoying, but it's, it's good. I, I like it though. I feel like, it, it, you know, it's beautiful to have small talk. What do you guys think? So guys, those are the five things that I absolutely love about America. You know, uh, America has a lot of problems, but we also have a lot of good things going for us. Do you agree or disagree with some of the five uh, things that I really like about America? If so, what are those things that you dislike and why? If you think that your country does better in a certain avenue with some of these things that I have talked about, let me know in the comment section. I'm curious to see how these five categories translate into your cultural context. And yeah, let's have a discussion. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, share this video if you care, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.